Flowers, it is said, are love's truest language. But what would the girlfriend say if you gave her a bunch of feathers instead? Certain ladies down in Uxbridge hope she wouldn't know the difference, for their job is to make flowers from feathers. Practically any sort of bird can provide the materials, but the secret of converting them into beautiful blooms lies in the special treatment each feather is given and in the skill of these craftswomen's hands. A behind-the-scenes glimpse shows that a special iron is used to curve the coloured feathers to the correct shape. It took some years for Mrs. Barnett, whose workshop this is, to discover that feathers could give an almost perfect imitation of a fresh-cut flower. She began her craft early in the war, making novelties from seashells, fur cones, coloured silks and cottons. But when she started her feather flowers, the dollars came rolling in from Canada and America. When each petal has been wired into place, feather leaves are fixed and the stem trimmed. Under Mrs. Barnett's guidance, our flower makers have become so expert at their trade that they've even been known to deceive themselves. As well as their floral products, many novel decorations are made here too. Some of feathers, but many of crepe paper and silk. Bobby pins, the Americans' name for these hairpins, are making a big hit in the state. Mushrooms, bananas, dozens of different sorts of coloured hat trimmings, as well as little decorations for perfume bottles, are all made in this room from the simplest materials, plus, of course, the skill in their maker's hands. Remember, next time you want to send flowers, you can say it with feathers.